Hi, welcome to the Mammoth Tech Show. I'm Jeff, and this is a nice white but fairly boring wall, which could do with an upgrade. I was thinking about putting a TV on here and having something nice in the background, but then if I change my mind or it doesn't work, I'd have to take it down, repair the wall. Yeah, it's a bit of a faff. But you can get these, which are stands that would normally go on a table or a TV bench. So I thought, let's have a look at one of these. First things first, open the box. Okay, what do we get in the box? Ooh, look at all this. A whole Jacob's Ladder of screws and fixings and all sorts. And another one. Good grief. Yeah. Okay. One plate. One sort of Latin cube. These go behind the TV. And here we have the base plate. This is interesting because this is a, how much of, in this case, our workspace here. This would take up, and no, that wouldn't take up too much room actually. Assuming it does keep the TV steady, we'll have to see. And here we have a parts list and instructions. Yeah, and it doesn't look too complicated. We put the support on the base and then we secure the T-piece onto the top, put the brackets on the back of the TV and yeah, hang the TV on the bracket and that should be it. He says, Optimistically. We should have everything here because it's all in little pouches separated out. I'm interested. Are you the type of person who would check all the different screws and washers, make sure all of them are in place, separate them out, do a bit of uh, no wooling if this was Lego? It's not. Luckily, it's not Lego. It wouldn't support TV if it was Lego. But if it was, it'd be called no wooling. And would you do that or would you just assume, yeah, it'll be fine. So the instructions have us doing a fair bit with each step. On this first step here, we add the little feet to the bottom of our base, and then we fit the upright onto it. Let's do that. And as you can see, all the little bags are numbered or lettered. So here we have F, which is the feet we need to base. Let's get these out. So here we have our feet. Does this have a top or a bottom? Hmm. Yes. Ah, right, that is considerably less shiny. This shiny side, matte side. So I would reckon it would be matte side down. If you're working on something like this, try not to spin it around when it's on the table. Otherwise, little bits of grit might be trapped between the desk and whatever you're working on. And as you spin it around, you'll create lovely swirly scratch patterns. And uh, whatever you're working on, which uh, would be annoying. So we have L, which is this plate here, and Q, the bolts here. And they'll go in like, uh, they'll go like, you know, like that. Just put that there to make sure that this last foot doesn't foul against the last bit here, but as it's only little, it's fine. Okay, that's fine. And this is the opposite number for this on the other side. So if we pop that up, pop that there, and we got our screws. There we go. And last one. There. Yeah. 
that's out. That's the base plate. And we now need this bit. And as we see, there's our three holes that will accept the bolts. Here we have Allen key D. Once you've got the first screw aligned, it's a lot easier. Let's get the rest of them in. Always screw these in loosely at first. And then once you're happy that everything's lined up properly, then you can tighten it up. Remember, this is going to be holding a TV, so get them nice and tight, but not too tight. Right, that is firmly in place, and there we go. Looking good so far. Now we have to attach the brackets that the T piece will lock into, and they go. We've, and we have four rows of holes here and they need to be one hole distance apart like that. So they'll either go in like that or like that. So that's basically your choice of heights. Let's go for the higher point. We need E, K, M, G, T and V next. V is it E. A or M bolts, G to go on the end of M, T was the Allen key we used previously, and after a quick change of SD card for the camera, we have T and V. So basically, we'll have this here, the bolt going through it, plate on the back, and the nut there. Plate on the back like so, and then just finger tight. That's just finger tight in place for a minute. And again, one and a two. With your two sided fingers, it's always getting it through, getting it through the other side. There's one. Can be a paint, that's fine. Use the plate for the back. Oh good. And we just secure those in place now. On to panel three. Here we have our top T piece. And we also need C and O. Two little washers here. So we have our two washers and the top T piece. C. Answer number four. H D N W N U. Uh, you, you, not not you, just you here. H D N four little washers. And U is the bigger of our two Allen keys, which is also a little screwdriver. This step isn't amazingly clear. We have two bolts, two nuts, but six washers. The two O's and the four N's. They'll need to be sandwiched together somehow. Because this will rotate like that, we'll have the plastic washer at the point of rotation, so where it will rub as it rotates. This is going to be fiddly. Ah, yes, this is making sense now. So that's in loosely, like that. We'll tighten that up, but basically we've got the bolt going through, then a metal washer, then it goes onto the hanging bracket. There's the plastic washer between the hanging bracket and the T coming out, we have another washer and the vital snut. And of course, the other way going up from the bottom. We have bolt 
washer, the hanging bracket, the plastic washer providing the friction reducing surface for this to pivot on, and then another washer, and the retaining nuts, and then the camera battery ran out. But never mind. The final two steps are just securing the brackets on the back of the TV and then securing the TV onto the stand. The final two bits of the puzzle are two little wedges that attach on once the TV is in place. You then insert a bolt through each of these, wind it and wind it and wind it until that wedges into place and secures the TV onto the stand. But what's it like once it's finally done? Let's have a look. And here we have it. And if you recognize this TV, well done, because you're clearly a long-term viewer. This TV featured several years ago in a fix. I'll put a link up in the top corner of the screen for you to have a look at this TV getting fixed. But it's now no longer our main TV and be living out its retirement up here, aiding us in our demonstrations. As mentioned earlier, this is the tilty turny version of the stand, so I can turn it like this, or if I turn it like this, you can see a nice reflection of the light. There we go. Put it back. But that's moving nicely. Obviously, that arrangement of the washers was correct because that's moving very easily and with very little friction. So that's good. The stand seems pretty sturdy, really. This TV is rather old. It's probably about as much weight as you'd want to put on it, but it seems to be coping just fine. So hopefully you'll be seeing this in future videos and we might connect things up to it or just use it for some background interests. Have you had any experience with these sorts of stands or do you think attaching it to the wall would have been a better idea? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the show, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more from us, why not subscribe? I've been Jeff. This has been a nice new stand for our old TV. And this has been the Mammoth Tech Show. And you've been very kind to watch. Thank you very much. Oh.